Hey guys, welcome back to Expo Hub channel. Today we are going to attend one more practice question and try to answer that. And I hope you guys have started following the UiPath certification playlist. Let us understand the question. A developer wants to create an automation that iterates through a dictionary and prints the value of each key. So it should print the value of each key. Okay. Which activity can iterate through a dictionary? Okay. So the answer is quite simple. The answer is for each, right? The answer is for each, but again, select item. What is the use of select item? It is for the clicking on a drop down, right? In a list, if you want to select something from a drop down, you want to select. Uh, so that's where we'll be using the select item activity. Find children if you wanted to retrieve the values of a drop down. Let's say there are multiple values in the drop down, you want to retrieve them. Find children. Uh, for each row is for a data table. So, for each is the answer. But there are so many other things that we should learn about dictionary. So, let's get back to the studio and I'm going to show you all of them. So, first of all, to create a dictionary, we are going to use a simple assign activity. Okay, we'll start very simple and I'm going to also explain you a very complex uh, activity around the dictionary. So let's say uh, what is a dictionary? How the dictionary uh, would appear? Generally a dictionary would appear like a key and a value. It's a pair of key and value. For example, if I give an employee ID, there is a name associated with that, right? For example, employee ID 1001, let's say is the associated with the employee called Rakesh, isn't it? So dictionary is used for those kind of a data where a key, a single key and value. The value could be one or it could be array of values also, right? It could be one value. Now in this example, one employee ID, one name. But for example, if I say create a dictionary for even numbers. So even could be the key and there could be multiple values like two comma four comma six comma eight comma 10. This, there could be multiple values. Now let's say if I ask you create a dictionary of odd, then you would again start with let's say 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. There could be multiple values, right? One key with one value, one key with multiple values. So how all this can be achieved? Let's check that. Let's start with the employee ID. One key, one value, okay? So let's create a, um, a variable and give it a name. Let's say employee dictionary. All right, and then I'm going to add some, um, you know, first thing, once you have created the variable, you should set the data type. So let's do that. Go to browse for types and type dictionary. And then this is what you should select system dot collections dot generate. Once it is selected, let's click on uh, so the first value is an employee ID, which is an integer, right? That is known as the key and the values T key and T value and the value will be of a string type. So I have selected the data type for the key data type for the value. So the left hand side is known as a key. The right hand side value is known as a the value of that. So it is a string type done. So let's create, let's go back and here initialize this particular dictionary. So how do you initialize this dictionary? Let me slightly enlarge it. Okay, so let's type new dictionary of right new dictionary of and in bracket we should say of what is the first data type integer 32. So int 32 comma what is the second data type string okay so first data type is of integer this is of string clear this is how you will be initializing how do i add some values to the dictionary very simple take the name of the dictionary which is employee dictionary write the name and in bracket here uh, i need to assign the employee id as the key so i will say 1001 and let me write a value let's say rakesh all right let's do it one more time and let it change from one to two thousand and two and here let the name be 
Rahul. Let's say. All right. Let's do one more time, and we will say 1003. Three different employees with three different IDs. Okay. So one key, one value. James. Okay. So this becomes a dictionary. Now the question is, how will you print this? Now in this dictionary there are three values, right? Thousand and Rakesh, employee ID thousand and two, Rahul thousand and three, James. Now how do I print it? Now to print this I'll be using the for each loop, right? Let's drag and drop the for each loop. And here there are multiple ways. First thing what we will do, we will want to print the entire dictionary. Okay, so how do you do that? Simply say employee dictionary and this dictionary is an object so ensure your type argument is object if you select anything else let's say if you are selecting the type as dictionary you will get invalid cast exception error okay because this has got two different varieties of data so it is hard to print so you'll get invalid cast exception error so i'm wanted to keep it as object and let's say i want to print it uh, we can use a message box also, I'll show you, you can also use it a uh, right line activity, right? Whatever you want. So let's use also use a right line activity just to print it, okay? Two different ways. Now, how do I print this? All I have to do is simply say item. And here I can say item dot two string. If you simply write item, it will throw error item dot two string. Done. If you run this or let's debug it so that we can see what would happen you can see the complete value of the dictionary one by one because it is it you know iterating through the dictionary see so the first value Rakesh right 1001 Rakesh so it should appear okay so you can see 1001 Rakesh has appeared all right and then in the in the output you can see the right line activity has worked it has written and then Rahul so this is printing the entire data you will say hey Rakesh I do not want to print the entire data I just want to print the names or I just want to print the IDs employee IDs I want to print so in that case even we can do that so this we have understood right so now just to print let's say the employee id so employee ids are what keys remember there are two terms in a dictionary the left side is the key the right side is the value so let's say i want to print the key so write the dictionary name and then dot keys okay if you do this it will only print the keys so let's debug it you will see our output only will print the keys oh I actually supposed to change the type argument to integer but with object also it worked fine okay so it printed but the right way or the recommended way is to change its data type to uh, what is the data type integer so you can keep it integer and print it now let's say I want to print values so simply say values dictionary name dot values and values are of string right so as a string so i can print it okay let's see let's wait for the output okay so the message box has printed rakesh rahul and in the output also it is writing okay james okay so this is the uh, way to print using a for each activity that we have understood we got the answer what if what if um, i would say hey this is one key one value right the dictionary that we have created has one key and one value what if one key multiple values let's do that for that let's use a assign activity and in the assign activity let's create a, a num dictionary number dictionary okay I'll say num dictionary done and then and let's initialize this dictionary new dictionary of 
and then in the bracket the first one is of string right so i'll say string comma and then second one is of integer 32 and then it is an array so i'll put two moon bracket so this is how you'll be initializing it okay so new dictionary of string in 32 is this clear so once this is initialized i need to also change the data type of the variable to dictionary let's browse for types and type dictionary and then select this and say the first value is string and the second one is array of integer all right now let's store some values into this dictionary again we will use an assign activity and in the assign activity we will write the name of the dictionary first that is the syntax okay and then in the bracket i will say let's say even numbers all right and let's store some values let's store some even numbers within curly braces i'll say 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 10 okay some five different even numbers i have stored similarly let's copy paste and change this and say it odd and for the values we will type some odd numbers select this and start typing 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 let's say few odd numbers i have said now you would say rakesh how do i print in this scenario where i have one key and multiple values a key having multiple values how do you print again the activity that we will be using will remain the same i will be using the for each activity okay and again the format also would remain the same for example if you simply type num dictionary okay and you if you select object you can still print it but there is a small error that would appear for example if i'm using a message box and if i simply type item so what would happen the values will print properly but this array of values won't print okay so if you run this you will get to know so how do i print this array of values i'm also going to show you first see this what's going to happen So what's going to happen it's going to show the key because it's a string so the string will be printed properly but the array of values won't be printed so if you see the string even has been printed but the system the values are not been printed okay so how do you solve this look at this even for the odd the same problem has happened so how do you solve this problem okay now because single key and multiple values so what we can do there are multiple ways to do it two things i am passing okay first i am passing the first array and the second array so when i am passing the first array so this won't work okay so what i can do i will use another for each loop getting it so this is how you have to put your logics and see how it can work so now i am passing the first array so I'll pass it to the second loop, the first array, and I'm going to name it as item two. All right. So I'm passing this first for each item. That means the array up to this, and then inside this, let me type a message box. Okay. So this is one way. I am also going to show you another couple of ways. So let's say item two. Okay. And this for each loop uh, has to deal with integers. So let me select integer um item uh, what is the problem here values of type integer cannot be converted to system dot collection dot uh, okay so this one the first one values is a array of integer okay so just by changing this array of integer for the first for each loop all the problem has been solved are you getting it let's run it so any kind of a challenge that you get that can be solved just that you need a little bit of thought process okay so the first value has been printed 2 
four eight okay but the problem here is it's going to print everything ten okay it's it's printing uh, everything if you see it is printing everything you don't have a differentiation to make whether it has printed the even numbers or has it printed the odd numbers right so this is this is a slightly complicated so how do i make it simple can you think of so let's use a for each loop and then the other simplest way is simply type let's say i want to pass this even okay so what what this is uh, this key contains this key contains a array right let's go with integer 32 and let's see if that works and then we'll use a message box and then let's type item so what are, what would happen by writing this way anything that is there for the even key right 2 4 6 8 10 all the integers should get printed let's run it and see so dealing with the type argument is also one of the learning okay so you can see now you know it is printing uh, for the key even okay same way you can do it another for each loop below this and say or so i've shown you multiple ways whichever is applicable or if you have a better thought process you can always implement that okay so this way the all the even keys has been printed all right guys so there could be even more smarter way that you can think of uh, but i feel this is the way that using the for each activity that we can print uh, in various ways so only thing that you should the key point that you should remember is the type argument you have to select on various situations we have gone through that right different ways you can print it we have gone through all of that in this video so uh, you know make a note what you have learned because this might be slightly complex in when you have to recall you might not be able to recall it what we have done um, right so better to write to a notebook as to what you have exactly done and what are the learning points and maintain a separate notebook so that every day when you get up just go through that just go through that you might have spent a lot of time going through the video but going through your notebook would take maybe a second just to recall what was that you have learned right so that is very very helpful maintain a separate notebook and continue your learning journey thank you guys we are going to meet again in the next video till then take care bye bye